Hello, Polly the Best for UK here, and welcome to my video. In today's video, I'm looking at Freembar's quest on the Commodore Amiga. Now, this is by System 3. Now, I originally had this on the Commodore 64, and it was a fantastic Commodore 64 game with beautiful music and parallax scrolling and everything. It really showed off what that Commodore 64 could do. But this is the Amiga version. So let's start the game. No, the Amiga version, yeah, it does look a bit more polished and stuff, but uh, I still, to me, I sort of still prefer the uh, Commodore 64 version. I mean, it is good in its own right. Um, yeah, so we keep going. Have some, oh, you fuck, I didn't mean to do that. So basically, at the, 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 the bottom in that TV screen, oh, come on. Basically, in that TV screen, You've got to try and find the... Oh, you boona! I might actually get my words out before I keep dying. Game over. So basically, uh, let's start the game. So basically, in that TV screen at the bottom, it tells you which enemy you've got to look for. That will give you the scroll that you need. Now, you need a, you need to collect a certain amount of scrolls each level to uh, progress to the next level. So basically, you shoot them. Oh, you fuck. Now, this is a lot more trickier than the Commodore 64 version, it seems to me. Uh, I don't remember dying this often. It just seems like they're coming too fast and you can't shoot them in time. We have to go walk away and then shoot them again. And walk away and shoot them again. Have some of that. Mm, yeah. Graphics are nice, yeah. Like I said, they are polished. Uh... The Amiga's got more powerful hardware than the Commodore 64, so of course it's going to look better. But uh, the Commodore 64 original, it was really fantastic. It had really good graphics for the system and uh, the Amiga version. Yeah, it's sort of like enhanced, but it doesn't seem to f play as good somehow. I don't know what it is about it. It just doesn't, to me, it doesn't seem as good. But we're not reviewing the Commodore 64 version in this video. We're reviewing the Amiga version right now. So, yeah, so this is, uh, yeah, uh, good graphics, good good playability. Uh, not quite as fun to me. I don't know if anyone would agree than the Commodore 64 version original was. But, uh, yeah, it's still, it's still an okay game for you, Amiga, right here. And uh, this is a shop where you've got to take all the scrolls, by the way. I haven't picked up one scroll yet. I haven't found one. Like I said, you've got to look for... The uh, enemy that contains the scroll will be flashing. I haven't found him yet. They're at random, in, they're at random places on each, each time you play the game. There's a door up there that you can go through. I think it's a room full of coins, if I remember right. Have some of that. Oh, it's a, it's a room full of money bags. So yeah, so this is a Free Bell's Quest Amiga. I'm going to give this 7 out of 10 for the problems that I experienced with the playability. But it's still a good game anyway. Goodbye!